so another day another video um, for those of you who are wondering I am trying something different with this whole setup behind me trying to work out a better situation um, it is interesting oh wow oh this is weird anyway um, so it's Sunday which means it's time for a stash cast. Um, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a Radiant Noir, the resident witch and creatrix over to Radiant's hand and Danaeus Divine, where I create myth, magic, and meaning for your everyday life through art, intuition, and energy work. And on Sundays, I like to do a little thing called a stash cast. Now, for those of you familiar with the art world, stash is usually referring to the collection of materials um, as per a specific medium. This may be yarn, beads, fabric, buttons, thread, you name it. Paint, um, sequins. I have a nice stash of sequins. But um, it's commonly referred to because it's something that is commonly acquired. Is you are a serious artist, and I mean, this is not a pensing fancy for you. You do so you do art avidly um, or with great fervor, not necessarily professionally, um, then you likely have stash. So um, I like to let you peer into my stash, which includes not only materials, but also tools um, and other little knickknacks and notions. Because the reality is for me, um, I greatly, uh, I greatly love having a large plethora of options and that also um, goes to the things that I like to work with. Now um, generally whenever I'm showing something or talking about something I do try to bring it on camera with me. Um, I actually left it <laughs> somewhere that I can't access right now. Um, I took pictures of everything earlier today so if you'd like to see pictures then you can scroll to the post below and you'll see them. Um, but without further ado, what are we talking about? So today the stash in question is my, um, gosh, what did I say? My large tote bags that I use for projects. So a tote bag, right? It's a bag, put stuff in it. It's handy when you're going to the beach, you're going to go somewhere, whether you're traveling, whatever. Um, we all know what you put in bags. For me, the glory of the tote bag is I can carry several projects and smaller project bags at once. So if I'm going to be somewhere an extended period of time, I have options. Um, and what with me slowing down my production so that whenever I get to a very specific um, delineation or end point, I stop and then take pictures and then move on. Um, that's slowed down production production immensely. So instead of speeding through something, um, I'm kind of embracing that slower mindset. I know, oh, dear gods, is it painstaking? Because while making is not a race, I do um, deeply want to finish things so that I can see them done. Um, and of course, there's always that gratification of bam, it's done. So there's that. Um, but I always have my eye out for tote bags. Um, generally speaking, I, um, I try to go with bags that are large and have purpose. I don't like things that are flimsy. Um, if it's got pockets, that's a definite plus. If it's got a way to close it somehow, also a definite plus. Um, and of course, if it's a pretty color, that doesn't hurt. So. If you'd like to see those bags, you can scroll below. Um, generally when I use them the most is when I go to knit night um, or when I meet up with a biz buddy pre-quarantine, um, I would bring several things with me and sometimes not even several projects, but projects and then um, notes and my planner and my tablet and like various other things that I might use or uh, reference while we're meeting together and kind of spitballing back and forth. So I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. <laughs> As we've uh, quickly reached the end of our 
um, video, I would love to hear from you. Do you have tote bags for your arts and crafts, um, whether it's fiber arts or other things? Um, how do you like them? You know, what made you choose the bags that you have? As always, if you would like to see pictures of the things that I am talking about, you can scroll to the post below. If you're watching this on YouTube, then hit the link at the very top of the post and it'll take you over to Patreon. And this is one of my weekly posts, so it is public and it's open for everyone to see. And as always, if you'd like to find me online, you can check out the bottom of the post and you'll see my website's Aradius Hand and Danaeus Divine linked below, as well as all of my active social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, which is where I really like to hang out the most. Um, as always, for those of you who are watching on, you know, now that you have made it to the end, you get the grace of knowing what's coming tomorrow. So tomorrow is Monday Motivation. And I think I might be motivated this week. Um, there was a little thing that happened this morning that kind of helped with that. And then some other things have happened. So I'll be sharing that with you tomorrow. Um, it's likely going to be in the afternoon, just so I'm going to try and, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and get as many of the videos pre-recorded as I can. Um, but during the summertime, which it's basically summer now, as far as school letting out, um, I have to shift my schedule because I really don't like background noise and tiny people peeping and such, which is why we're recording this so late at night. Um, but there you go. There you have it. So if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you. And make sure that you like and subscribe so that you can see more videos like this and other ones that I put up. And if you're not already a patron, consider going over to my Patreon and becoming a patron. Um, the support that I get from patrons helps me keep doing things that are free like this. Um, it'll also help me to offer other things for free, like how to's and demos and receive more input because more people will be in the community. So, um, to all my patrons who already are out there, thank you. You mean the world. And I appreciate your, uh, support of me doing this and your curiosity and everything like that. And I will see you tomorrow. Toodles.